Now, EU ministers have failed to give the green light for accession negotiations with Albania and North Macedonia. At a meeting in Luxembourg yesterday, France played a key role in blocking the start of official accession talks with the two small nations. The bloc's enlargement commissioner raised concerns that further delays in that process could backfire and drive Balkan states to cultivate closer ties with Russia and China. One of the aspiring countries is North Macedonia. It's facing the challenge of losing large numbers of its educated workforce as they migrate to Western Europe. Borjan Jovanovski has the story. The latest World Bank report notes that North Macedonia, together with Bosnia and Moldova, is the biggest exporter of young educated people to Europe. Public opinion surveys show that 70% of the youth see their future outside the country. Martin Galevsky finished his master's studies at Cambridge and his PhD at Oxford. He returned home after his studies, but is now faced with the question of whether this country holds any future for him. Sometimes I feel that I want to stay in the country and contribute with my education experience. Other times I, I feel that I want to leave as soon as possible. With my education experience, I can do quite well. Uh, I can earn quite well, but it has always been the broader socio-political environment that really pushes me away from the country. It's things like the never-ending political and corruptive scandals that we have, the barely non-existent rule of law, uh, the very poor uh, health and education system in the country, as well as, for example, the fact that I live in one of the most polluted cities in Europe. The government seems to have recognized the problem of this exodus of young people and has increased the expenditure on youth programs in its latest national budget. We are envisaging a special budget for the youth and youth organizations. 1% from the central government and 0.5% from the local authorities. The process is supported by the EU delegation in Skopje, which is also developing special youth programs. If we are going to help change situation at home through reforms, through opening and discussing chapters, um, I think we'll be creating conditions that people will not be pushed to look for life abroad. Research has shown that 80% of the young people believe that European integration processes open new perspective. After nine unsuccessful recommendations of European Commission for the start of negotiation, hopes are high that the 10th one will finally get the green light from the upcoming October session of the European Council. In Skopje for Euronews, Borja Jovanovski.